Welcome to Winning Secret TV. God has planned everything. God is omniscient, omnipotent and omnipotent. There is nothing that he doesn't know. There is nothing he cannot see and foresee. There is nowhere he is not present. There is nothing he cannot do. As he has a plan even so it shall be. Because he sees and knows the future. In fact, him himself is the future. The beginning and the end. Revelation 1:8. I am alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Nothing ever comes suddenly to God. God has made all things according to his plans and purposes. Both good and bad are all preordained for the accomplishment of certain predetermined ends. That is why we see a kind of streamline in virtually every creation. Everything by divine ordering has been made for the accomplishment of specific or predetermined purposes and has been designed, embedded, or gifted with both external and internal mechanisms to achieve or actualize the preordained ends. Talking about preordination and structural formulation for the purpose. Talking about Jesus in Hebrew 10 to 7 to 7 the Bible says, Wherefore when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me, in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Here the Bible makes it clear that even before the coming to the earth of a person, a prophecy was already been made, and even written about him. We saw this, in the case of Jesus, that all about him has been prophetically written, and his bodily design was made according to the purpose and prophecy he was coming to fulfill. He said that he comes according to the volume of the writings about him, and that God has made him a body, as is suitable for the mission he had come to accomplish. Incidentally, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, you can subscribe now. You can simply do this by hopping over to YouTube and type on the search bar on YouTube. Winning Secret TV. Then you hit the search button to go to the channel. You will see the subscription button to subscribe immediately. Or click on the channel logo to see the entire channel. There you can also see the subscription button and subscribe. To not miss out on all the exciting videos that we post practically every week. Thank you very much. All right. Whatever we see today, is all working or happening, for the purpose of the fulfillment, of some certain divine arrangement, or orchestration. John the Baptist says in John chapter 3 verse 27. Nothing comes to a person without divine orchestration or cause. John 3 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. Here the scriptures through John, underscores that nothing just happens on its own without spiritual arrangements, or predetermination. The only thing is that it wasn't always allotted, or allocated to any person or individual. Like in the case of Judas Iscariot. God didn't say it would be Judas Iscariot, that would betray Jesus. But somewhat Judas Iscariot threw unchecked craving for money, and inordinate ambition to outsmart others, made himself available for the fulfillment of the prophecy. Because, God's word, prophecy, once released, goes in search of fulfillment, in any available entity. This is captured in Isaiah 55 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Perhaps, he, Judas, might have reasoned. Let me sell Jesus I know they won't be able to arrest him, after all, they have tried several times to arrest him but failed, it will still also be same that I will have free money to spend, having delivered him to them as agreed but they failed in his arrest. But nay, he failed it. He did search through the books to understand prophecies about Jesus. Perhaps if he had, he wouldn't have acted that way. He failed to read or understand the writings and prophecies about Jesus, that he would be betrayed and handed over to the men who would kill him and he fulfilled the prophecy and betrayed his master.
God allows man to make his choice of the available options that he has. But as for God's plans, its fulfillment is always certain. As he has planned even so it shall be. Isaiah 46 verse 10 Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Nothing ever comes suddenly to God. For instance, from the creation. God already knew that man, Adam, would fall. And he put in place, Jesus Christ. As the means of the salvation of humanity after man's fall. Christ said that he would be betrayed by one of his disciples as a means of fulfilling his divine mission and by the way of fulfilling the prophecy Judas did. No prophecy of the Bible ever falls short of fulfillment. The only gap has always been on who the prophecy is going to be fulfilled. For instance, in the case of the betrayal, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It was prophesied long before it came to pass. God didn't mention Judas nor allotted him the role of the betrayer. But Judas gave himself for the fulfillment of the prophecy. The word of God once uttered must find fulfillment in a thing or person. In Isaiah 55 verse 11 the Bible says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. God foreknew or has foreknowledge of everything before it's happened. Someone will reason why couldn't God have prevented what we term evil occurrences from happening? Well, God in his wisdom has character, integrity, and principles. His ways sometimes are too difficult for the human mind to comprehend. For instance, how could the ordinary mind comprehend that? God would have had to kill his only begotten son as a sacrifice to satisfy his demands for justice against sin and his son becoming a propitiation or sacrificial lamb for that purpose? For the purchase of man back from Satan. Ordinarily, one would have thought that God would beat Satan white and blue and even imprison him and redeem man back to himself. But his principle and integrity didn't allow him to do that. We saw through Psalms 138 that God magnifies his word above his name. Psalms 138 verse 2 I will worship toward thy holy temple, and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. The integrity of God ensures that he keeps to his word and brings to pass whatever he says. Even God's word itself has inherent creative ability. That a thing has not happened is that God has not said it. If God, for instance, should address a male as female, the male instantly will turn to female. That is how powerful the word of God is. The good news, however, is that the plan of God for us is for good and not for evil. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 he says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9, it says but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. So God's ordained plans for us are for good even beyond what we can imagine. All we need do is to love him to see these plans come to fulfillment in our lives. When we love God and are doing his wills and the odds or reverses seem to be the case. We shouldn't worry or be unduly alarmed. It must be working together for our manifestation. Roman chapter 8 verse 28 The Bible makes it clear that everything works together for our glory. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So stop worrying, the challenges are not meant for evil. It was pre-planned for your lifting and for your manifestation. Remember Joseph, his being sold to slavery in Egypt was for the manifestation of his dream. That he would rule over his brothers and that through him many would be saved of hunger and starvation. What about Daniel? His casting into the den of the lion brought about the elevation and announcement. Of God is the only true God and also his recognition and reverence. What about our Christ, who through suffering and death brought salvation to humanity? The victory of Satan and was given a glorified name above every other name. 
that at the mention of it every kneel bows and every tongue confesses that he is the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because your plans for us for good help us to keep faith with you. To be able to see those plans come to pass in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully hand-picked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. Also, you may leave your comment or prayer requests in the comment box and we shall respond to you accordingly. God bless you.